Hello everyone, my name is Aishiki. At first I would like to say that please kindly subscribe my channel. So today I am going to read a horror story. Okay, so now today's horror story. There are four parts of the story. That is Rock and Roll Time, The Mountain Town, The Rabbit Hole and The Dripping Blood. Okay, so now let's begin with our story. Rock and Roll Time Like any other teenager, Jess loved sports and rock concert. His room was full of posters of his favorite sports people and rock stars. One day, Jess heard from a couple of other students in his school that a rock concert would be held in a town close to his place. Excited, Jess asked his father if he could go for the concert. His father, however, was reluctant to send him because the town where the concert was going to be held was on the top of a mountain. There was a legend in those parts that a scary, wicked woman who had the head of a cow lived in the mountain. Don't worry, I am not going alone. My friends will be with me. Say Jess, we will come back as soon as the concert is over. At last, after much caroling, his parents agreed to send him to the concert. The Mountain Town On the day of the concert, Jess and his friends boarded a bus towards the mountain town. They lived in a valley and it would take them nearly four hours to reach there. Jess even met some of the musicians and got their autographs and pictures clicked with them. It was late in the night when Jess and his friends reached the bus stop to take the bus back to their town. The boys were wheeling away their time at the bus stop when Jess remembered the cow woman. Have you heard of the legend of the woman with a cow's head? asked Jess. Yes, maybe she's lurking here somewhere. Why don't we go and look for her? said one of his friends. We can take the last bus back to our town, said another. So the boys agreed that they should look for the cow woman. So they headed towards the outskirts of the town. The rabbit hole. The boys walked for some 30 minutes and soon reached an isolated area in the outskirts of the town. They left with adventures and decided to form two groups and look for the woman. Jess and one of his friends walked further up into the mountain while the other two went down in the opposite direction. Jess and his friend had walked a few steps when they saw a small wooded path yonder. Both of them decided to follow the path. The path came to an end near a rabbit hole. The hole was so big that a man could pass through it. Let's go inside, said Jess. What? No! shrieked his friend. I feel scared, he said to his friend. Jess, however, convinced him to explore the hole. The two boys then entered the hole. They crawled for almost 15 minutes before they came to a halt near an open space. It was very tiny. They hardly managed to breathe. The dripping blood. Jess and his friend looked around. There they saw rabbit skins, deer hides, striven on the ground. In a corner hay was piled up on the ground like a bed. The boys looked in awe 
as they also saw a tiny table with some leftover food on it. I think someone lives here, said Jess. Jess turned to his friend and noticed that he was shouting at his shoulder, open mouth, scared. Jess too followed his eyes and realized that it was blood stained. Blood had dripped on it. And not once did they look back. They told their friend about what they had happened and had seen in the hole. The boys quickly reached the bus stop and took the bus first back. When the bus started moving, Jess looked out of his window and realized that there was someone running beside the bus. It was the woman with the cow's head. Okay, so story ends here. If you liked my today's video, then please like and comment my video. And also subscribe my channel to listen to more stories and also to follow all my videos regularly. And don't forget to click on the bell icon. Thank you.